While sales and operations planning methodology has been around for decades, too few manufacturers obtain its full potential value. Let me describe four aspects of the process I see commonly emphasized in companies that gain the most from it. First, the best at SNOP have a clear and common understanding of what they're trying to accomplish through the process and know to what degree those needs are currently being satisfied. Seems simple enough. Know what success looks like. Unfortunately, too many organizations focus on the tasks and not on the outcomes. Take a minute to define how you will know if your company is better off because of its SNOP process. Then assess how well you're meeting that potential. Now perhaps evident from that first quick exercise is the importance of using plan, do, check, adjust both during and on your SNOP process. My second tip is for you to execute monthly reviews of significant deviations from expected, this is check, and then learn from that. Make changes to data, assumptions, and to the process as appropriate. As you get better, the definition of significant deviation will tighten. That is a sign of progress. Thirdly, effective SNOP is a three-way conversation among sales, operations, and finance. It is not a forecast followed by an MRP-generated production and purchasing plan. Operations is responsible to provide feedback to make the sales plan better. That may involve unused capacity, slow-moving inventory, or the resources required to develop capabilities the plan requires. And little is done without an impact on finances. Accounting needs to understand the financial risks of planned product introductions and rollouts of inventory bills and of capacity changes. Effective SNOP reflects the inputs of all three arenas and is then used by all three to move forward. My fourth tip for you is to focus on forecast quality over forecast accuracy. Forecasts are never accurate, but they can be good enough to enable the leadership team to make high quality decisions. Think specifically about the types of decisions that are made based on forecast data. Then develop common understanding of the value in improving the quality of those decisions. To the degree that better forecasting improves decision making, focus on that. If forecast error is not the cause of poor decisions, focus on what is. Don't have a monthly SNOP meeting just because you think you should. Develop a process with these four tips in mind and bring real value to your organization.